Mufti Sound is a primal cathedral. You would expect pterodactyls to appear. There's a piece in here that's, for me, is deeply spiritual, which is a pretty full-on statement, but I've been painting all my life, and I've seen things this morning that I've never noticed before, and I thought I was an observer. It's been incredibly inspiring to see the variety of people that have been involved in the project, from our crew giving their time freely to um, Otago Polytechnic donating 30 traps, Fleur Sullivan and Josh Amit giving their, their personas and their passion to look after what's below the water as well. Tim, who's giving his art and his inspiration, is willing to give to the place. Old clients of ours who have previously paid to come on board and are now freely giving their time or donating funds or buying a trap. It's just so varied. On this trip I contributed by uh, laying a whole lot of rat traps, which was an amazing process. Uh, and I can see that there's a lot of work to be done, but hopefully we made a bit of a dent in it for the day that we spent out there. My role is very much a storyteller. I know what's going on here and I'd like the rest of New Zealand Aotearoa to understand what's going on here. And I don't know if I give too much, but I'm getting a lot and in my own small way maybe I can give back through story. Tago Polytechnics donated 30 traps uh, to go on Long Island um, and I guess it's a way to uh, really for them to give back um, for the opportunities that uh, Pure Salt and Dusky Sound's given us and our students. You know, got a huge amount of admiration for, for, the, for the volunteers. So. I take away a huge amount from this experience. It was really not what I expected, um, I think. Uh, more than anything, it's about um, taking from the land and see um, what you need and nothing more, and uh, looking after it for future generations. I've been shown so much in such a short space of time that will influence my work from now on. It's like somebody's come along and given me whole new range of brushes and a whole new range of pigments. What I find enormously encouraging is that there are people like Sean and Maria on the flight list who are stepping up to do the work and that actually gives me a great deal of hope. I just have a lot of respect for people um, willing to come into an area, try something different and, uh, and yeah, get behind an awesome cause. I just urge everybody to feel this emotion about what ordinary people can accomplish when they become aware of our wildlife disappearing, our fish disappearing. It's a positive result of conservation and we don't have enough positive stories and this is a positive story and everyone can contribute to it. I'm not a bushman, I'm not a fisherman but I can enjoy beauty and life and we're all part of this together and I think we all need to be involved.